Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another edition of Being a Sports Talk. And today I want to have a little bit of a fun video. I want to discuss what the NFL is going to be like in 2021. But before that, I want to talk about how the NFL was just one short year ago. Remember one year ago, Lamar Jackson was just a rookie. They won the, the, NFC, the AFC North and they were playing against the Chargers and they lost. They uh, they lost pretty handsomely. They tried to do a little comeback in the uh, fourth quarter, but ended up not working out. And then we all thought that the Los Angeles Chargers were the next team. We thought the Ravens were, you know, screwed with Lamar Jackson. And I, I fell for it as well. I thought, you know, Los Angeles Chargers had a chance to beat the Patriots. And uh, Philip Rivers ended up losing, I think, his seventh game against the, um, the Patriots and Tom Brady. So, and now the Patriots are, I mean, the, the Chargers are 6-10. and 10. Looks like the Ravens are the class of the AFC. So just one short year ago, we thought that the the Ravens were a one and done team. We're like, hey, why are you getting rid of Flacco? We all didn't really like Flacco, but we're like, he's better than Lamar Jackson. We don't really like this running quarterback guy. Um, just a year ago, you had the Los Angeles Rams, who were the the best team in the NFC. You know, they they ran through the the playoffs. They beat the Cowboys. They beat the Saints in that controversial play. Now this year, they're nine and seven. They're paid everybody. They got squeezed all their draft picks out. Turns out they didn't make the playoffs. So that's interesting. Uh, now the Rams are confused. They don't know what they're doing. Do we uh, do we go all in again? Do we trade another first round pick for uh, another stud? You know, wide receivers. You know, a left tackle or something. What do they do? There's huge questions about that. I remember a year ago, the Green Bay Packers were six and uh, six nine and one. They were second to last place in the NFC North. They hired a guy named Matt LaFleur, and people thought, you know what, this team isn't going to be successful. I was, I'm like, this either is going to work or it's not going to work at all. They won ugly this year, and they finished off 13-3, and and now they have a first-round bye in the playoffs. Just like that, Aaron Rodgers is back. And just think about it, a couple months ago, oh, you know, in the beginning of the season, we thought Dak sucked, we thought Kirk Cousins sucked, and then they drew us in. And then now we realize, hey, they're not that good anyway. So the the narratives in the beginning of the season always come true. We knew 49ers had a stud defensive uh, de- defensive line. We knew Jimmy Garoppolo, all he did was win. We knew Tom Brady. They they probably they're probably gonna win the AFC East, even though they should have won that last game. I uh, it's just whatever. We knew that the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes were great, but then things changed in the middle of the season. You're like, oh, is Patrick Mahomes good? Oh, Kirk Cousins is great. And then things at the end of the season, they end up just working out just fine. But, uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a short recap. I think that was fun of uh, what we've experienced in the past year. And just a year ago, Andrew Luck, they were the next dynasty with the Indianapolis Colts. They were the next dynasty. And now you look at it, I believe they finished second to last in their own division. Um, yeah, they, I think they did because Tennessee Titans made the playoffs. And they lost to the Jaguars, the, wor- the worst team in, in the last game of the season. So uh, things just like that. And speaking about the Jaguars, 6-10. and 10. Um, and Gardner Minshew is their their quarterback out of uh, out of University of Washington. That's crazy. That's just crazy where we were a year ago. Let me know what you guys think of uh, some other things where we were a year ago. Uh, maybe in the Giants with Eli Manning. Just imagine. Just remember how crazy this whole thing has been just in one year. But uh, I want to talk about where we can be in 2021, which is crazy to say. I'm graduating college um, next year, so that, that's even crazier. But enough talking about me. Let's talk about where I think the NFL is going to be. Tom Brady is going to be on a different team, and he's gonna he's gonna be in the playoffs with this different team. Whether it's the Chargers, uh, I might be even Miami because uh, they're hiring a you know a, a pretty old offensive coordinator there. Uh, it may be the Raiders. Uh, just think about where Tom Brady can land. So that's going to be an interesting narrative to watch in the next year. Does he get sick of Bill Belichick? Do they lose just today, tonight, um, that I'm, I'm recording this video? I'm not sure if they win or lose. I'm going to probably upload this tomorrow, but I'm not sure if they win or lose. So that's going to be an interesting narrative to see what happens with that. The Texans and Deshaun Watson, are, are, they, are they bottom of the league? Are they a top three pick? I think that they have a chance to be. Deshaun Watson's great. But Laramie Tunsil, injured. Um, Kenny Stills hasn't really performed as great as you would expect for two first-round draft picks to be wasted on them. They still have an ass secondary. J.J. Watt always seems like he's getting injured. They don't have Jadavion Clowney anymore. Whitney Merciless looks kind of good. But overall, this team may be in the tank in a couple years. And Deshaun Watson may be getting uh, some help with a high first-round pick. It's not really Deshaun Watson's fault, but uh, it is what it is with the Houston Texans. Uh, an interesting, another interesting narrative to see is what happens with Jameis Winston. 
Is he a backup somewhere, or is he the starting quarterback of the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers? That's number three. Now, I think Jameis Winston is going to be... Um, it's going to be interesting because Bruce Arians has had enough with him. He's had enough. And if you look at James Winston, he's going to command a lot of money. He's going to want $30 million. But who's going to pay him that? Are the Cowboys going to just take on James Winston or something like that? You know, or, or the Raiders with Derek Carr? And you know, Derek Carr doesn't really have a lot of turnovers. Is John Gruden just going to accept James Winston and bring him in? Or is he going to be a backup somewhere like with the Bears? Like, uh, like kind of what Ryan Tannehill was, uh, his situation was similar to. And uh, so, so that's going to be very interesting. At number three, Jameis Winston. Where is he? <laughs> where is, where is Jameis? Uh, number four, Seattle. Do they, do they rise above expectations next year? Or maybe like I think what's going to happen with the Houston Texans, does Javion Clowney leave? You know, they don't have Josh Gordon any, anymore. Chris Carson, you know, is he going to be perennially injured? Uh, he always seems like he's getting injured. Rashad Penny, is he a decent running back? Uh, now you did you did give up a lot of picks for Jadavion Clowney. You gave up a third-round pick for Jadavion Clowney. It always seems like Seattle doesn't really have a lot of picks, and then they make a lot of picks in the draft. Does this Russell Wilson big contract thing have an effect on their team? I said right when it signed in three years, you know, the Seattle is going to be in the tank. I said this year it's going to work. It's going to work this year. They're going to make the playoffs, and they're really a ten and six, nine and seven team, not quite an eleven and five team like the record says. But again, your record, I guess, is what uh, you know is what it is, and you are what your record says it is. Pete, what does Pete Carroll do? Is there going to be a different wave of this defense? Does Quandre Diggs lead this defense to the next the next era? Is Bobby Wagner still effective, or is he getting old and? Is he going the way of the the dodo in a, in a way? So number four, um, you know the Seattle Seahawks, or do they fail? And then are the 49ers the next class of this division because the Rams aren't playing well? Uh, is the are the Cardinals going to come up in this division? I don't know. Is Kyler Murray going to lead them to a division championship next year? The Arizona Cardinals, they need uh, they need offensive line help. Uh, if um, if they don't get offensive line help, Kyler Murray is going to end up like the next Marcus Mariota. Um, yeah, you know, now Kyler Murray would end up like Marcus Mariota because he's going to give away the ball a lot. You know, with a smart offensive scheme. Unlike Tennessee, Tennessee didn't really have a smart offensive scheme, and they didn't really surround Marcus Mariota with a system that he liked with Chip Kelly in the West Coast offense. But you know, does does Kyler Murray do they surround him with the right pieces for him to be successful on this offensive line? You know, with Larry Fitzgerald retiring, they're going to have to bring a, a lot of guys. Is Kyler Murray, uh, an unvocal guy like Marcus Mariota, going to be able to galvanize this Cardinals team to a division championship? That is included in my number four. Uh, my number five, um, my number five thing to watch out for in this upcoming season is Daniel Jones. Does he galvanize this team, and can the Giants make a run for this division next year? Um, do we forget about Eli Manning, or are we talking about Eli Manning and Manning next year because Daniel Jones gets hurt again? You know, what is it going to be like? It, who do the Giants hire as a head coach compared to the Redskins with Ron Rivera? You know, do the the Redskins look like they have a way better future with Dwayne Haskins? Daniel Jones versus Dwayne Haskins in this NFC East. You also have Car- Carson Wentz versus Dak Prescott. I think that's a very interesting storyline. By next year, we're probably going to have a new division championship. We know the teams don't repeat. So either the Dallas Cowboys, the Giants, or the Redskins going to win. Does Ron Rivera turn around the Redskins and we look at Daniel Jones like, Oh yeah, we should have probably looked at Ron Rivera more. We should have hired somebody different. It'd be very interesting to see who the Giants hire to help Daniel Jones. Offensive guy, defensive guy, galvanizer, um, yeah, X's and O's guys, kind of like Pat Shermer. Or um, yeah, so it's going to be very interesting to see who the Giants hire in 2021. My personal opinion. The Giants need to be 8-8 eight and eight next year in order for this whole Daniel Jones thing to look like it's panning out. The Giants are not 500, at least 7-9 and nine next year. I mean, come on. When are we going to be successful? You have a strong offense. You have a lot of young guys on defense. Yeah, so those are my top five things. What, what we could be looking at in 2021 are the Redskins. Do they have enough talent for Ron Rivera to turn them around? Who the Giants hire? You know, can the Cardinals make a move in this division with um, with Seattle? And is Seattle going to move down because of the Russell Wilson contract? Jameis Winston. Well, where does he go? Is he a backup? Is he the starter with Bruce Arians? Maybe he's a starter with, with a different team. What happens with him? Because he had a he had a season. Let's just say that. You know, Patriots. Where does Tom Brady land? And uh, finally, I forgot my last point. I think it was like the Houston Texans or something like that. But 
let me know what you guys think um where what are your most interesting storylines of 2021 where do you think we're gonna be in 2021 who are the playoff teams what what is like the general narrative do we get invaded by some space aliens anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys